Hi, and welcome to minivan camper building with Leslie. I just, I'm sorry, I just hit my head on the back door and it really hurts and I'm a mess. And I broke my regular glasses, so I have these silly reader glasses that aren't doing much good. It's been a long trip. Um, so we've been, my husband and I have been on the road in this minivan camper for seven months, full timing in it for seven months. We're finally headed back to our home in Florida to check on the house that we've been renting out and make sure it's still there. Uh, but today we're going to talk about designing and building this bed. We're going to cover the bed platform, the bed frame, everything you're going to need to know about the bed except the mattress. I'm going to do the mattress in a different video because there's going to be so much to cover with just this. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Leslie and I built out our minivan into a camper. I'll show you how to do it yourself if you're so inclined. I'll give you all the information you need to do all this. And today it's going to be all about the bed. So let's get into it. This is the bench bed in question. This is what it looks like when it's in bench mode. And this is what it looks like in bed mode. Here's a view from the back of the van looking in. You'll see that you also have a bench facing out the back. And here's what the bed looks like from the back of the van looking forward. The cool thing about this, the back of the platform flips up so you also can access all the storage in the well where the third row seats normally fold down into. However, I took those out to maximize storage. Is this what you're looking at right now? An empty back of a van? That's good because you want to take time and just consider the space, right? The most important thing you can do is figure out what your objectives are for the space. Mine was to make a bed that's as wide as possible because two of us are sleeping in this and we need the space. There are three major parts to the bed, the bed frame, the bed platform, and the mattress. The mattress I'm going to do in a separate video because this is already going to be too much. Believe me. After a lot of careful consideration, I decided that our bed should be 44 inches wide and 74 inches long. Your bed platform does not need to be as wide as the space you have to fit it in. You're going to want a few inches clearance so you can move it up and down into bench mode and your cushions will take up any extra space. So don't worry about falling off. So I had the plywood cut into five pieces. How did I decide on the sizes of those pieces? When the platform is in bench mode, it will have cushions. Those cushions will take up some space. So you don't want to go too narrow or your whole butt will not fit on this bench. So let's make sure that there's room. You're going to take up some space here with the back cushions. So the two middle panels would be 18 inches long and the full length of the outside seating areas would be 19 inches. The one in the rear is broken up into the two panels. One is 16 inches and one is three because the three inch wide panel, that's going to be bolted down to the frame. The 16 inch will be the one that's folded up for storage access. So I went down to the home diddly depot there and I got my big piece of plywood and I had the guys cut it down to the overall dimensions. And then I also had them make some cuts for those smaller panel sizes that I just showed you. Then I assembled it all together using four piano hinges. Yes, four. You see three here, but the fourth one is underneath these two panels because of the way that those two panels will fold together. So the whole platform makes this shape. Now that you have a platform, now you can decide exactly what angle you want it to sit at. This has to be done first before we build the frame. We're going to need two supports right at these weak spots. So we're determining where exactly these supports have to be installed on the frame in order to keep this platform in bench mode safely. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Time to get out the graph paper and start sketching. 
your base does not have to be as wide as your platform, nor should it, because you're going to want a couple of inches overhang so you can pick up the platform and move the back piece up to get into the storage. And the length, of course, is also not going to be as long as your platform is. I decided on a 57 inch long frame and 42 inches wide. For this part of the frame, I used two by fours. Now we have to decide where those supports are going to go for the platform. Well, based on the measurements we made when we had the platform in bench mode, I decided to put a couple of two by sixes going across at these points. The first is 14 inches from the very back, and the second is 17 inches from the very front. When you're doing your measurements here, remember, if you're using two by sixes, the actual measurements is one and a half by five and a half. So what that means is in total, my measurements look like this. Get your two by sixes and your two by fours together and make the frame using some, some right angle braces and some wood glue and a couple of good wood screws. And that gives you everything except those legs. How on earth do you figure out how long to make those legs? That takes some trial and error, but it's not that hard, believe me. Start by taking your frame and setting it into the back of the van. And then take blocks of wood, whatever you have lying around, and just support the frame up to a height where you think it might be comfortable. Just trying to get the measurements of how high those support legs are going to be. If you're working with a van like mine and you have this deep well, you're going to have much longer support legs in the back than you will in the front. So you're finding a nice comfortable height and you're also trying to figure out if it's going to be semi-level. Don't knock yourself out over this. It'll never be perfectly level, but it's okay. Do your best. You can always put those leveling blocks under your van if you're that worried about it. But I gave it my best guess and it's been fine. Once you decide how high your legs should be, mark down those measurements and then add a few inches. You're definitely going to want to start with longer legs than you need and then shave them down little by little till you get to the right point. It wound up taking me about three tries and that's great because I'd rather do it that way than start out with legs that are too short. Once I cut the legs, I put all kinds of hardware on them to keep them sturdy, not moving, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. I don't want to worry about the sturdiness of this at all. And here's what the whole frame looks like with legs upside down on the floor of my garage. Now let's get it in the van. Okay, looking at the back of the van, yours may look different, but here's what I did. Once I removed the third row seats, it left me with all these threaded bolt holes. So I used those to my advantage. Come down here, level, leveled with the holes, and I'll show you what I did. Over each area where there are bolt holes, I took some chunks of wood. And for each chunk of wood, I drilled a hole through it. And then I took the appropriate size bolt through the block of wood on top of those blocks. I put a little weather stripping just because. And then I laid down a one by four and I secured the one by four to the wooden blocks with a couple of nice, sturdy wood screws. I did that for each one of the blocks, and here's what that looks like. Now you take your completed bed frame, put it into the back of your van again, and you're going to build two more little legs, and those legs are going to go between that one by four that you just laid down go up to your bed frame. You can see these here, and secure all that with some braces. I use wood glue at every possible turn here, except for where these T braces are. The reason I did that is because if I want to remove the frame thing, I can just unscrew the T brace and then pull the whole frame out. So far, I haven't had any squeaks, no problems at all. Now, get ready for the platform. Take your platform and place it on the frame, and hopefully those Hinge points are hitting your supports exactly the way you planned. To secure the platform to the bed frame on the three inch strip that sits right over your two by six on the frame, we're going to drill a couple of holes and install some bolts. I used three big hefty bolts 
that go all the way through the platform and the frame. And at the bottom, they're secured with a rubber washer, a metal washer, and a nut. Now you should have a nice, secure bed platform attached to your nice, secure bed frame. One more thing, you're going to need support for the front of the platform, especially when it's in bed mode. So using a strip of two by two, screw that to the underside of the front of the platform, making sure that it's short enough to fit in between the supports of the bed frame. Then just take a couple of two by fours and screw those in place right behind the two by two. Now you have solid support for the front of your platform. A few more goodies that I added. The first one is a really cool strap that you can't believe how much it helps when you're trying to convert it from bed to bed to pull it up in the middle. I just did it by taking an old strap and then using some uh, screws and washers to secure it down. And the next thing I added is this retention strip. It's just a thin piece of wood that I screwed onto both the front and the back of the platform so that the mattresses won't slide off. And I also added this, whatever this is called, like a slide bolt latch. This helps keep the bed in bench mode when it's set up that way. So there you go. I'll cover the mattress in another video, but now you have all the instructions to make all the guts of the bed. Any questions, just let me know. I really need to thank Eric Enjoys Earth. I took his design and made it my own. Thank you so much, Eric, for all your hard work. I'll make some more videos explaining how I did everything in the van and get you what you need so you can do it too. Thanks for stopping in. I'll see you next time.